Alrighty guys, got another video here for you. Well, basically I got myself a 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee and we're tearing literally every usable part off of it for the 95 Grand Cherokee. <coughs> brand new spare tire basically what happened was bought this thing for 600 bucks running and driving all-wheel drive 5.2 v8 aw4 44 re trans and i think it's i think it's either the 231 or the 241 uh select track no it's not a select yeah it's a select track four-wheel drive you know four high four low um, yeah, I had aftermarket Bluetooth stereo, basically had everything in it. Then, I decided to go ahead and cut the roof off, make a convertible because I'm stupid. And the unibody was already really bad. It wasn't, you know, it actually looked like a stock Jeep, and it wasn't like this, to the point where it's junk. But what happened was, I, uh, mosquito, the mosquito was biting shit on my shoulder. I started gutting it apart, taking all the usable parts off it because the you unibody's know, shot and this thing's never going to be a daily driver again. And I cut the roof off because you know, it's really nice driving this thing at 65 on a dirt road with a breeze. And I, just, I was backing it up the other day. I got hung up on a stump and behind the stump around two feet there was a tree. Well, I didn't know this, but the stump ripped the fuel filter off. I don't know how the vehicle was still running. It was running for a good solid 10 seconds after the fuel lines and everything got ripped off. What happened was I backed up. I got hung up on the stump. I gave it some gas. It ripped the stump out of the ground. I hit the tree. It snapped the unibody, bent the body all the way up like this. It uh, shut off, and it caught on fire. So fuel tank's fine, but the fuel lines to about right here are all burned. Everything's burned. Transmission and wiring, all that stuff's okay, but... It caught on fire right, right here, and it could have gotten a lot worse. Luckily, I had a lot of water on hand, but it caught on fire. You can see I ripped the stump out. There's the stump that got hung up, and I ripped it off, and that's the tree I hit. But other than that, <coughs> my shoot's still. I got all the bumpers. I got. I'm ripping the axles out taking fenders off, taking the hood off, pulling the motor, all the wiring, everything's off. Well, I'm pulling the motor this weekend. I'll keep you guys in touch with that, but I cut the center bumper thing out there so I could pull the radiator out without pulling the fan shroud off. You know, I had a brand new radiator in it, brand new AC condenser. Obviously, I didn't, I'm cutting it because you don't need AC, but all the doors are fine except for this one where it got t-boned a little bit so the doors all bent it's on the scrap trailer actually look here's the fuel filter that I got ripped off you can see where it caught on fire but anyway yeah so this is one of the three you guys video here and also I backed into it really hard at the 78 so that's really fun to do so yeah thought I'd throw you guys a video